But that first year, like you guys were villains, and you're like, wait, this isn't what you guys we expected, right? Yeah, no, we no, not like that. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, we we expected some of it. We we didn't expect that. No, not at all. But it, it made us like it, it, it took the fun out of basketball. You know what I'm saying? Like being trying to play the villain, it just took the joy away from the game. And even though we still were good and you know, all that kind of stuff, we didn't have fun in that first year. Cause we were like, all right, we're gonna show them. Like, you can't, that's not the way you go through an entire year. You know what I'm saying? And but it was fun. I mean, I got some great stories and great memories from like <laughs> talking shit in the arena to the fans back and forth. But at the end of the day, like it was all love because we knew everybody was there to see us. You know, at the end of the day, you can say what you want, but y'all here, y'all bought these tickets early. <laughs> early <laughs> you ain't get these tickets for the last five minutes because they couldn't sell seats. No, you got, you was like, oh, let me get the heat. Okay. Yeah. We knew that. We knew y'all were there for us. So, you know, the hate, yes, it it, it, it kind of drove us in the wrong. We should have, we, we didn't place it right. You know, if we would have placed the hate in the right spot, in the right place, then, you know, we could still have joy plan. But, you know, we took everything that people were saying about us and, you know, we took it personal. And we kind of, we was like this the whole year. And once we got to the time of winning time, we couldn't perform the way we needed to perform because we were tight. You know what I mean? Just being honest, we were all we were tight, and we didn't. None of us performed the way we wanted to. Like everyone talks about LeBron not performing the way that he should have, he didn't, and he knows that. But I didn't perform the way I should in the last couple games. Like I was, no one can guard me out there. Love Jason Kidd, but he was. 35, he shouldn't have been able to guard me. I should have, okay, Brian, you ain't having a good game. I should have had 45. Like, it's just that, like, but we were so tight. And so, you know, we allowed that hate in that season to really, in 2010, to really affect yeah, that the way was we big. I, that was big hate, too, because... Um, that was real, ooh, that was real Because I remember when, we, when we, we, were, we were playing you guys in the season, you guys were, what, eight and eight. And my whole we, thing... We started, yeah, yeah, because we whole, started nine and eight before we went on the winning streak. Yeah, because my whole thing, yeah, because <laughs> the nine came against us. <laughs> Because <laughs> he was 8-8, eight, eight, and I was like, listen, 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 listen. This is our best chance to get them. Their lineup is a little funky. They got LeBron at the actual three. You know, we've been playing him. He don't, that's not his position. They got Mike Baby at the point. All right, so listen, while they're still a little bit off, before they realize, <laughs> just, <laughs> before they realize. Well, they figure this out. <laughs> we need to hurry up and try to get a win, right? Nope. Get smacked, get smacked first five minutes. He subs us. He basically calls a game. <laughs> he go <a> game, bro. <laughs> he been, coach subs. He just subs the whole five out. And I'm on the man like, come on, God damn it, man. Already, <laughs> we already give it up. You look at the score down 19. Yeah, we already give it up, <laughs> man. Game already. already give it up, man. Where the cheerleaders at? Just, just watch the cheerleaders. <laughs> they about to go on a run now. They done figured it out. And that's what he, Yo, how about everybody? How about we first got a lead? Everybody used to be like this at our chili. Yeah. It's like the game over here. Everybody's like, we's like, we got them. Let's go. Let's make the run. They ain't focused. Hey, hey, we, we like, are they doing this on purpose, bro? Are they doing the cheerleaders on purpose? Because our cheerleaders don't look like this. Because one day our coach is like, hey, Rook, y'all rookies, look at this. Time out. Man, what? <laughs> Yo. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the NBA's rooks. I didn't want nothing. I just wanted y'all to see <laughs> yeah, what, no. what it do here. <laughs> yeah, no, it was it was special. When someone presses you or comes at you, naturally you're gonna want to defend yourself. So that's why you guys were like that. Like, all yeah. right, you guys are, you know, we're the bad guys here. All right, yeah, we're the bad guys. We're right. gonna respond to you like that. Mm -hmm. But then it took going through that to the next year to when you do finally win. It was like that wasn't who we were, mm -hmm. and we're not gonna go anywhere if that's who we continue to be. Yeah, I mean, we and then too, like, I mean, we've talked about this before too. It's great putting great talent together because, you know, we're sitting in Brooklyn right now, putting three guys together. But it does come a time, it is a freedom in not having to like worry like, oh, is he going, is he going to take the, is he going to shoot? Do, do, oh, he need to get some shots. He, it, so we had that. You know what I mean? Think about it. In the day of Bron come down and him and CB playing their game and it's been seven minutes and D-Wade ain't touched the ball. <laughs> my breathing going to change a little bit. And now Bron see that. Now he's like, I got to get. So once we came back the next year too, and it was like, listen, hey, Brian, hey, you the best. This is you run the show. It, it took a, it took a lot of thought out of him too because he's coming to Wade County, mm -hmm. and so I know he looked over his shoulder a few times, like, okay, this D Wade need to, D Wade need to, it, instead of just playing basketball, like he doesn't, he don't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. Like even though AD needs to get the ball, he don't necessarily, he don't have that same, like it's not that same thing of coming to Miami mm -hmm. and it's being Wade County and him feeling like possibly. All right, I gotta get this guy ball. I gotta get ID. He ain't he ain't mad. So once we cleared that out in the next year and said, listen, you're the best player in the game. 
you're going to lead us to the championship. We're just going to do what we need to do. It cleared him up, freed everybody up, and then there we go. Now we go three straight finals, and we went two and three. And, you know, great career. we had a great career in those four years. That's somebody's yeah. career right there in yeah, those yeah, four yeah, years, yeah. which we went to the finals four times. So, yeah, for sure. That's, that's the most, like, people don't understand that when you're putting teams together, it, it, names is good. That's a good starting point. But meshing is the most important. Right? Yep. And, you know, I had, I was saying last year at the beginning, and I said, the, the Clippers can't win because no one has came out and said, hey, you're the man. Mm. You're the man. We're going to go by your lead. I said, Lakers and already did that. Mm -hmm. I said, Lakers and already did that. They already know the pecking order of what's going on. This side hasn't. So there's going to be some, there's going to, when it gets yep. tough, there's going to be some battle in here because no one's came out. You're, you're not accepting the new guy. The new guy's trying to fit in. You're like, oh, that's my team. Still. Like, you, you know, there's no pecking order. And if you don't have a pecking order, then when that court happens and someone's not getting the ball, it's going to be felt more. Like, I already, I told them, you know, I used to tell my team, hey, listen, when I get on the heater, just, just let me know that someone didn't get the ball because I am not paying attention or just call some plays. And I know when you call plays, Eddie, that means you want me to pass the ball because none of the plays was basically meant for me. <laughs> 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 the plays, <laughs> so for people like, yo, do you know any plays besides uh, one four flat? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I do not know no plays besides one four flat means it's my time.